This video depicts the 2012 fleet of trains operating on Banbury connections during the COVID lockdown in 2021 when the usual cohort of operators weren't able to come and operate the layout. We now see the train going through the site of Nottingham, Victoria, which has temporarily disappeared as uh, the construction team is working on the upgrade to the arches behind the station. Now entering the Sheffield Victoria station, where ironically the overhead masts are no longer in use in 2012. We've now moved to Shrewsbury station, where an Arriva Trains Wales Class 158 comes off the uh, Welsh branch line. The Welsh Bull station is coming into Shrewsbury, heading for Birmingham, following a reversal. Back at Sheffield Station now we have a cross-country train departing down from Bristol Midland Station. And we also can see a northern rail train in the distance which has just left Huddersfield on its way to Bradford Exchange. former Nottingham coal mines to show it on the left there and the four car cross country to Bristol to left Sheffield in the video before is just entering the completed Nottingham Victoria station with its new stone arch wall in the background. It's surprising how quickly the station reappeared. You often see the aged operator standing there admiring the new brick wall, or stone wall I should say. Trains just rounding the bend now into the central station. Now moved back to the Northern Rail service from before, which is just entering Bradford Exchange. The Virgin Voyager can be seen on Platform 1, which forms the Bradford Exchange to London Maryland service. The train just passed the former Rugby Cement Works at Rugby as it approaches Rugby Station. The train's just left Rugby Station around the corner and is going across the cord to Leavenworth Spa. These moves are known to give operators grief during busy periods of running.
now see the train entering the other single track cordon where it is tracking the one over. With the view taken rather unusually with the photographer squashed against the wall of the shed. Shows how devious these connecting cords actually are. And Arriva Trains Wales, London to Aberystwyth Express service is just seen to be leaving Banbury Station on its way to Leamington Spa. Country service from Sheffield is just seen leaving Stratford upon Avon station as it rounds its way to Bristol Midland. question is, should we chop those concrete slabs off those passengers? First Great Western local service from Bristol will be back to the level, just seen in Bristol. Now to Cleethorpe station we have a Northern Rail Pacer running the Cleethorpe to Sheffield local service. On this occasion it's managed to successfully get across the, uh, the bridge which uh, was fortunately in position. Here we see the post on arriving on Sheffield uh, Platform 1, which is primarily only used for passenger trains during the 2012 uh, sequence. It's very strange. Oh, a pair of cross country power cars um, have just taken delivery and being parked at Chester for the time being until new coaches can be obtained. And here, a Wrexham and Shropshire train approaches London Marylebone to be fishing for a in the buffet car. Thank you, Roger. <coughs> a uh, London Midland local from Shrewsbury to Banbury approaches Wolverhampton while a Arriva Trains Wales service to Chester departs. Still quite bucolic out there in Wales as the uh, local train comes into Port Maddox station. Here we see a 
both a typical 158 and an M2 have a risk, which fortunately on our model still has four platforms. On the upper level we have a parcel train pulling into Wrexham General Station. On the lower level we see a class 158 um, River Trains Wales approaching Shrewsbury. In the far distance the Wrexham Shropshire train is just a part of Chester General for London Maryland. Altogether, surprisingly, the Wrexham and Shropshire train doesn't have to stop Wrexham. Arriva Trains Wales Class 158 just left Shrewsbury on its way to Chester General via Wrexham. It can now be seen rounding Caergoch, which is the large uh, mountain with an old hill fort on it that can be seen in the foreground. got to uh, Birkenhead Woodside Station where Christopher's uh, favourite HST in first great western uh, colours is uh, just departing which runs through to Bristol. Uh, you can do a transfer of control here and uh, keep the train running as it goes through Port Sunlight. By the way, Chris, uh, is, that, is that house on the left uh, been there before? We are hoping to build one in one to one scale eventually. No. Do, do you have a suitable board for it? A rather larger one, I hope. HST is just pulling into Chester General now where it does a reversal before heading to Wrexham. Now of course the big problem with running uh, modern trains on an, a layout that normally runs 62 trains is you never quite know where the power vehicle is which can lead to all sorts of exciting things when you try to start the train up. Cross country from Bradford to Gosport is just rounding the corner of Rugby and approaching Banbury now. As luck would have it, it's coming into platform two, which is the bi directional platform it needs in order to take the road down to Gosport. Back to Birmingham Snow Hill Station, the London Midland City Service from Shrewsbury to Banbury pulling into platform number seven. Very pleased with the new colour light signalling that's been installed at Birmingham Snowville, which has given operators a great deal of fun and extract. 
Uh, the London Midland Local Service is just heading up the hill into Solly Hull Station, which is in the cutting there, which is the transfer point between the Snow Hill and Banbury signal boxes. Back to Banbury now, cross country to Gosport, and then forward across to Gosport Park. Fortunately, on this occasion it's signalled correctly. The observant uh, viewers need to watch for the various places where we forgot to change the signals. Looking across the throat of London, Marylebone Station now as the Arriva Trains Wales Canberra and Coast Express um, departs with the four carriages proceeding to Aberystwyth Station to be dropped at Shrewsbury Station. This is the only service on the layout to have a full restaurant car facility. This means in 2012, of course, uh, back in the good old days, there were lots of restaurant cars. Train just passing through Vista North Station as it rounds Bannington Castle. See the uh, terminating West Midlands service coming into Banbury Platform 2. This has the potential to, technically speaking, stuff things up on the whole of the railway if it starts blocking other trains. Three car cross country from Bradford's just pulling into Winchester Chesil Station, which remains open on the 2012 version of this railway. Part of Winchester, heading into the tunnel before going through Crossport. Mm -hmm. Used to be in Crossport uh, now. I really like the, uh, the new uh, float and junction at uh, Wolverhampton low level. And I find it quite quite frightening. You see trains clearing around the place. I don't know where that one's going to us. I'm hoping it's going to Manchester. We can use blue tech identification on the modern trains to tell them apart. Here we are departing Aberystwyth. Once again with the two car one by eight. On a good day, that train will connect with the one that comes from Hoffeli. I think it's fair to say our Australian operators really enjoy trying to pronounce the Welsh place names. So here we are, leaving Hoffeli now with the connecting 150 unit. One fifty is just arriving at James Vale Station, also known as Prickyeth Station, where the trees just decided to uh, fall over in the wind. And onwards to Port Maddock, which even in 2012 you can argue is the correct uh, pronunciation rather than the Welshification of Port Maddock.
passengers on that service are in luck and appear to have arrived at McHuntless ahead of the connecting service from Aberystwyth through to Birmingham. Certainly clue our McCunclyth doesn't bear any resemblance to the real one, but we have much more fun with our multi-level four, four tracks and platforms. It's quite a big station in the distance there, just look at the arches. Whilst it looks close, that's actually Bergen Head Woodside. Same train coming into Welshpool. We're not crossing uh, another train there. You don't get as much of that with the modern railway. We're able to use the main platform rather than the passing loop. On to Shrewsbury Station now, we can see the Wrexham and Shropshire just leaving and rounding the corner. You can expect to come out of that tunnel now any moment. Arriva Trains for Wales Class 1 Pilots just leaving the long platform to Welsh School designed for the Cambrian and Coast Express so that heads to Shrewsbury while the Wrexham and Shropshire pulls into Wellington which is now the new station for Telford. A true network rail UK tradition you see how those two trains do not connect 